This is Adam Paul Seagram for MyDrawingTutorials.com and in this lesson you're going to learn how to paint interesting patterns and backgrounds using plastic wrap and acrylic paint. Alright, now let's go ahead and show you how we made these two patterns. Okay, the first step for this lesson is to cut out your plastic beforehand because you don't want to be fumbling with it while your painting is drying. Okay, now we'll begin by mixing up our blue and our white so we have an ocean-like color. There we go, nice blue. And we paint, make sure your painting is your paint is plenty wet. It's nice and thick, it's beautiful. Okay, and this is quite wet. So now we'll apply the plastic very carefully. Just lay it on like that. And crunch it a bit, scrunch it a bit. Crunch it up with your hand to create some texture. Okay, we're going to remove this. I'm going to put it in the sunlight to dry for a while, a few minutes. And make sure that before you bring it back and pull the plastic that the paint is completely dry. Otherwise, the wet paint will just flow back into one another itself once, once again. Uh, one can manipulate the plastic to do a number of things. In this case, we scrunched it this way so that we get an icy kind of pattern. You can go all horizontal or all vertical to get different ways of elongation in the, in the paint. Okay, we let this sit in the sun for about seven minutes or so, and now it appears to be dry, so we're going to pe peel off the plastic and see what it looks like. Okay, this appears to have a lot of depth. It's dry, almost dry, and it would be a great backdrop for sun abstract, or it might be an icy water, or a reflection in water, any number of things. Okay, here we have the green, and this is a great example of how you can create a backdrop or a reflection as an inspiration for a painting on top of it, or as a portion of a painting. Uh, this could be branches or any number of things. Also, uh, we might even try a couple colors or two or three colors and let them run together and then pull this, dry it and pull it off for a different effect. So you can experiment with different colors and patterns and movements and uh, see what you come up with. I think in this case I'd like to put some yellow over this to get more of a yellow green and some variation in the colors that are here. All right, so this is how we get interesting patterns and directions by using plastic wrap. So I suggest try this by yourself and see what you get. I hope you enjoy that lesson. For more acrylic tutorials, be sure to sign up for our free newsletter. Just go to mydrawingtutorials.com forward slash acrylic or click the link below. Until next time, happy painting.